Hello everybody, Caleb again. I finally got some more things to talk about on my Shape Oco 2 and I think I'll start off with first with this um, aluminum T-slot bed that I've got mounted up on it. Um, the idea here is that I'm using it for uh, milling some aluminum uh, die cast metal uh, cases that are going to be used for guitar pedals and stuff and I want to experiment with that. So I've got some uh, cam clamps that basically have an eccentric um, like nut basically on them and it has a little T-slot thing that basically allows it to connect and then you know slide right onto there so ah. but basically um, it's uh, I think 250 millimeters by 500 millimeters exactly or close to that and I got it from I think Mizumi or Mizumi USA, um, and it's very nice. A uh, lot of different ways you can mount it. There's um, holes along here that can be um, drilled and tapped. Uh, you can mount it along the side here. I ended up drilling um, holes uh, 10 millimeters in, and then drilling them, and then I made a little bit of a a larger drill right there so I could fit screws right down into the um, points there so that worked really well I think but I'm hoping that works out good and I'm hoping I can have a video out showing off a little bit of of a test project where I'm milling or engraving on some aluminum uh, die cast aluminum uh, project bo boxes so look for that but basically the other thing that I've done is I've I've ground down these fiberglass belt clips and basically that allows it so that the V-wheels I just hand travel the V-wheels can move all the way to the end basically which will undoubtedly help give me a little bit more um, travel and I've done it on the x-axis too the x-axis is probably not as, as important because the gantry can if it tries to travel too far, we'll actually hit a lot of the mechanics of the Y axis. But the reason I did it anyways is because I wanted to be able to pull this in a little bit so that when I tightened, or it was easier to tighten up these um, belts so that they were well tensioned. So that's really the reason why I did it there, and that was another reason why I opted to do it on these, or on the Y axis. So that's basically kind of where I am right now on everything and trying to think if there's anything else that I want to talk about right now nope so thanks for watching this was a short video and don't forget to like it if you thought it was cool bye